Why hello there, welcome back to another scripting video and, and in today's video we're going to be touching on a highly requested topic from my discord server for i, v in pairs and we're going to be touching on how it works and where you can use it secondly I really want to stress that if you haven't seen my tables video or you don't understand uh, how tables um, indexing and arrays and things like that work in Lua already I'll flash a card to that up in the top right corner. You really need to know what this is first before you can understand what's happening in this video. So if you haven't seen it, go watch that video and then come back and this will make so much more sense. But anyways guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so, 4i, v in pairs do. What, what does it mean? Uh, what is it used for? Yeah, all those all those good things. So obviously, four i comma v in pairs is a strand of four loops, and I'll uh, flash a card up, uh, of that up in the top right as well. I've done a four loops video. This is basically a continuation of that and the tables video, basically put together. So yeah. So I've got a little example script uh, written up here, pre-written for you guys to see. So I'm going to explain what's happening here, and then we'll see how it behaves, and I'll explain why. So firstly, we've got a local table, obviously defining a variable, local table, and then we're defining a table, obviously in my last video, like I said, I flashed a card up to that in the top right of how what this is, so you should already know what this is. I've set a table with three string values separated by commas, and then down here, I've gone for i, comma, v in pairs, table, so we're looping through this table so basically we're getting all the objects everything inside this table so we've got egg we've got apple and we've got steak so there's three objects and then we've dropped a line if so it's a conditional statement v so we're checking if v is equal to true or there is a v it exists then we're going to print v's value so we don't need to uh, two string this because it is already it is already as a string if this was to be, let's say, uh, false, a boolean value, I, whoops, we would have to to string v because it would error and say that this uh, it, it's an instance it can't print it, so we'd have to to string it. But in this case, I'm just keeping it nice and simple at in this case. I'm just keeping it nice and simple as a string. So, all right, so let's see how this code runs, focus down on my output down here, we'll see that it's, see that it's printed egg, which is the first item in my table, it's printed apple, which is the second instance in my table, item, instance, whatever you want to call it, and steak, which is my third up here, so let me explain what's happened what's happening here so the for is the syntax for the loop right because we're looping it's a it's a strand of a for loop it's basically yeah but the i right if we're if i was to print i so i is the position so as you can see egg which is uh v v the value is um is v that's, that's what v stands for and the i is the position in which it sits. So let's say if we wanted to print uh, table dot i, then we it would print the first position. It will print one. So if I do print i, so if I print i and we click run, what's going to happen is it's going to print one, two, three, because like a, like we saw before. This is at position one, position two, position three. So like this, one, two, three. See that it's done down here in the output. If I click the one, it's printed the i, and it's because it's looped through the table, all the items inside of my table. All right, so next I'm going to give you a practical example of how you could use uh, the for i, v loop 
recipe in Roblox Studio. So let's say we want to delete a line of parts. So we've got a part there. I'll make them all red. And I'll just duplicate these along a bit. And duplicate. All right, so I've got six parts here. And let's say I want to delete them. I'm just going to loop through them and I'm going to delete them one after another every one second. So what we could do is come up to the workspace, uh, insert object. I'm going to add a folder and I'm just going to name it. I'm just going to name it parts folder and I'm going to insert all these parts, everything that I want to delete into the parts folder. All right, so next we need should come up to server script service, insert a script. Do we need, so Firstly, we need to define the variable of the parts folder so we can get its children. So we can do local part folder equals game dot workspace dot and then we need to find parts folder. All right, so after the parts folder variable, we should add a little wait three, just so our script, we can wait for our player to load into the game so we can actually see our script working. So next we can start our for loop. We can do for i comma v in pairs is the syntax for our for loop. And we can do part folder. And then we need to get all the children under the part folder. So we're going to get its children. So all the parts inside of the folder highlighted here in blue, we're going to do do and drop a line. Next, we're going to check if V exists. And then if V exists, if V exists, then we can do V colon destroy. After that, we need to add wait one. Otherwise, it will all happen at the same time because the script reads through this very, very, very fast. So we want to actually see the changes being made to our game's workspace. As you can see, it's destroying the parts one after another. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.